Um, I've invited Miss Betty. She um, has become such a wonderful friend. And, um, and so I've just, we've asked her to come and share because she's just, she's an inspiration to us. So, um, Miss Betty, tell us a little bit about your first experience with Autumn. Like, what happened when we kind of just showed up? You knew not to have me coming behind her because I was almost crying. <laughs> she had me to share what I so feel at the moment. But my first experience, it was like Christmas to a seven-year-old. I had waited so long for um, a breakthrough or a miracle. I pretty much had lost hope in my situation. You know, when you waited so long and it don't look like nothing's going to change, sometimes you do get a little weak and give up. So I was really at the end of my wits on my rope. And lo and behold, up come Christine, Clark, and Christine, and Miss Lisa. And I tell you, it was an experience I would never forget. I have never been so happy and cried at the same time than to have them to come up and say, Miss Betty, hi, I'm Miss Lisa. <laughs> and it turned out they were the answer to my prayer. They brought hope back to me. You know, I was in such a dark place. And it was like, if I could paint a picture, can you imagine on a stormy day, the clouds are really, really dark. And it poured down rain. Well, I had seen that almost like three years, where you have to put bags up to catch the water, and buckets sitting everywhere. And I pray, Lord, please don't let it rain. Every time it rained, I used to get so depressed. But can you imagine, here it is on a cloudy day, up comes some sunshine. That's what arms did for me. That was my experience, you know. I'm not extremely um, proud of the situation I was in, but that's where they found me. I really needed the help. And I tell you, I thank God for arms. You know, um, I have met uh, under circumstances, uh, United Methodists, and now arms. You know, the circumstances that I met y'all under each time it was hardship. I had no idea that there was a Miss Lisa in my arms that came out of United Methodist Church. But I was already in the church. I don't know if you knew that, but when I was in a wheelchair and I was having a hard time, uh, and I want to take this moment, if you don't mind, and say thank you to United. Methodist Church that came through for me during my first time I was having a hard moment. But during my second time, Miss Lisa and uh, Christine and Clark showing up to my place, they really brought the sunshine in my life. So that was the first experience and it's a lasting experience and it's been one of the greatest impact that three people could have ever made on my life. To see y'all come up and say, Miss Betty, we're here. And they've been there ever since. I thank God for y'all. Tell us, um, now Miss Betty's a little bit of a construction person herself, and she's pretty handy. So tell, tell us a little bit about the work you, you yourself had done on your own. Just to share one or two things that you've done. Well, I don was trying to take a bad situation and turn it to, um, first of all, I was just trying to make everything livable. But after the Lord sent the help through the hands of arms, uh, we have now gone from a mobile home to a house. But it even further than that, because of the experience I had with arms, it is one of the nicest homes you can be in. So from a mobile home to a house, from a house to a home. So that's 
where they have brought me from. And, and tell us a little bit about how you've just sensed um, the love of Jesus through that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that the answer to that. <laughs> well, first of all, the, the love that was demonstrated through the volunteers that came out, it has made my life so rich to see young people you know, <laughs> little kids. I mean, I wish I could tell y'all, if you had given me 30 minutes, I could have really made y'all see how good everything was. <laughs> but I only have five minutes, so I'm seeing if I can, uh, see, I'm so afraid I won't get adjusted that it's due. But can you imagine seeing little children working, showing love, helping Miss Betty? I mean, they brought so much love there. And then, like, uh, we all working together and everything. And to see, Miss Betty brought your lunch, you know. They looked out for me. And then uh, we would sit around outside and have Bible study. Um, she had the Word of God. And it was just so much love between the volunteer and they worked so well together. And it just, uh, just sunshine to I mean, I, I just don't know how to put in word. You should have told me to write a paper. <laughs> I'm writing a book, and so you can, I'll get you to do a story. So, how's that? Yes. Miss Betty, thank you so much. Um, you've been such a blessing to all of us, and all the volunteers always talk about their experience with Miss Betty, how she makes them feel so special. She prays with them. Um, she serves them. Miss Betty, one last question. Okay. What do you hope to do when, when we when we together finish your house? What do you want to do? Well, first of all, I'm already praying for arms, uh, including my prayer all the time. And not that y'all have hired me, but I try to be y'all sports person. <laughs> Every chance that I get, I always tell people about arms. And I make myself available. You know, I can't always get to y'all. But I tell y'all anything y'all want to bring to me that I can work on, you know, like phone newsletters, you know, and address them or whatever way I can help. I want to be able to give back. And this is one of the organizations that uh, I'm beginning to embrace. And I hope I get to a place in life to where I can devote um uh, all I possibly can to it, you know. I want to be a blessing to y'all financially. Uh, I want to be a blessing with my hands, you know. In other words, whatever I can do to give back, because y'all make my life so rich. Um, my life has never been the same since that day you and uh, Clark and drove up. And with all the volunteers that came through y'all, I tell you, I love them. and. They the children I didn't have, you know? So I said, here come my babies <laughs> when they come up. So I'm just going to show you how uh, good they are. You know, you can't help but to be a relationship with them. Uh, I don't trust easily, but because they show so much love and you easily get so connected to them, I said, here baby, here go the key to my fence. And then I said, you need a key to the house because, you know, I could leave and I knew that they was at home. You know, they took care of my place as if it was their own home. So I'm going to say to, um, to y'all out there, I know that God uh, did an excellent thing when uh, he came through Miss Lisa. And Miss Lisa, uh, <laughs> I have a little card. It's saying, when I count my blessing, I always think of you because I couldn't be more grateful for the thoughtful things you do. I thank God that uh, you let him use you and I thank God for all the volunteers. I thank God for this great church. I thank God for everybody that took time to support ARMS because of uh, all that love and support that has gone into making this organization what it is, it does make a difference in people's lives. 
they really do uh, save lives. You know, when they came in and helped me, they saved a person that really had almost gave up. So I like to encourage each and every one of y'all to keep on being a big supporter of arms in whatever way you can. Miss Betty, uh, one of the things that many things that we have in common is that Miss Betty was in the in the uh, reserves and served for 14 years. She was a veteran, and uh, we've just been a just been a true blessing to have her um, serving with us. <laughs>